I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a t-shirt design for screen printing. So when your clients want to order from you, where do they get ideas for their graphics? Well, typically this originates online. They'll go to an online store, maybe one of the big online designer stores, or look at some of the retail brands. They'll screen capture an image. They'll send it over to you and say, hey, can you magically take this design and do something spectacular for me? Now, obviously our clients oftentimes don't have an idea of what it takes to create graphics. So that sets up some unique problems. For instance, you might have copyright issues. They've grabbed a design. You don't have the copyrights to use that particular clip art. You also have the time and expense of rebuilding the graphic. And if you don't have the skill set to rebuild the graphic, then you have to send it out and have somebody else do that. And that's going to cause a delay in production. I'm going to show you a quick and easy method for creating a t-shirt design for screen printing using graphics flow so graphics flow is an online app i'm logged into my graphics flow account the first thing you'll see when you log in is design ideas these are interactive design templates all of the text is live you can easily customize these templates and best of all they're already spot color separated for screen printing so they're production ready there's also a massive library of clip art if you need a simple clip art image, you can just go in and do a keyword search and pull up your clip art. And there's also a massive library of fonts that are specially designed for apparel decoration. To initiate the design process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to design ideas. I can either select a category, select a style, or do a keyword. I'm going to go in and just type in the keyword soccer, hit enter, and I can scroll through all of the soccer designs. If I want to initiate the editing process, what I'm going to do is highlight the design click on it, and then click on the button for customize. Once the customizer opens, you're going to see a list of all of the design elements within the graphic. That includes the text, all of the clip art and design elements, and it's also going to list all of the colors in the design. So first off, I'm going to change the text. So I'm going to highlight this text right here. I'm going to change that to West Lake High School. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to change the word Mustangs to Bears. This is a multi-layer text effect. So there's two layers of text stacked on top of each other to create this effect. So I'm going to change both layers. And next I'm going to change the clip art. To swap out the soccer ball with a bear mascot, I'm going to click on the edit button here. I'm going to select replace clip art. I'm going to type in bear, hit enter. I'll select one of the mascots. If I don't like it, I'll select a different mascot. And then I'll click on apply. For screen printing, we want to work with a specific number of colors. So you'll notice that there's different colors in the clip art image than there are in the template. So I'm going to consolidate those colors. So I'm going to click on this dark blue here. I'm going to consolidate this to a color in the template. Click on apply. I'm going to merge a color in the clip art by selecting this darker green here and merging that with gray. I'll click on apply. For the lighter green, I'm going to select white and then I'll click on apply. Once I've recolored the clip art, I'm going to click on view layers. I can now review the colors that are in use on the design. And you can see that there's five colors, including two colors of white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate this white right here into the other white. I'm going to select apply and we're just merging those two whites. So now we have a four color design. The final step in the process for preparing the design for screen printing would be to localize the colors for the correct colors for the school. So I'm going to select this blue here. I'm going to select navy blue, hit apply. I'm going to select the red. I'm now going to recolor to athletic gold. Click apply. If I'm going to screen print this onto a light substrate, I could omit the white color separation when I output film. If I'm going to print on a dark substrate, I'm likely going to place a white underbase underneath the entire design in my graphic software. And also you do have the option of taking this light gray right here and making it a shade of the blue and outputting this as a halftone dot pattern if you have that capability in your graphic software. In order to output halftones, you'll either need a PostScript printer driver or RIP software. Once I've completed the editing process, I'm going to save the design. I'm going to save it into the My Art section of Graphics Flow. I'll click on Save. I can now download a production file. If I'm using Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, or Inkscape, I'm going to download an editable vector PDF file. If I'm using CorelDRAW, I'm going to download a CDR file. If I'm just creating a web graphic, I can download a PNG file with a transparent background. I also have the option of adding the artwork to an art approval. I can create a new art approval. I'll just name it. I'll select create and add files. 
to send the art approval over to the client. I'm going to select art approvals. I'll click on the art approval link. I can change the background color by selecting the graphic. There's a button right over here where I can change the background color. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a light gray. And then to share the file, I'll select share, invite collaborators. I can enter an email address or I can select a shareable link for viewing, commenting, or commenting and approving and send this in an email or copy it into a text message. Your customer will get a link to a web page where they can comment or approve the graphic. This is a great technique for getting ideas in front of prospective customers and also making it easier for your clients to select graphics. To wrap up, we created a customized vector graphic that's production ready. We can download a PDF or a CDR file, bring that into a professional graphics program like CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator, and output color separations for screen printing.